Today we're going to take a look at a very interesting NPC. I give you guys... Cheeple. Before we go too deep though, we need to ask the question, what is Cheeple? What is this purpose of this NPC? And it's got a pretty interesting history, so let's dive in. So I think we need to go back to Half-Life 2 for this video. Here we are in Kleiner's lab. It's kind of eerie when you're not supposed to be here. But you'll notice that when this eventually comes on, you'll see a Metro Police officer. Now the cool thing is, we could simply bypass- whoa. We could simply bypass this and no clip all the way out to the location. When you get to that location, you'll see G-Man, which I never even knew about, but there's someone else here with us. Not only is there a Metro Police officer, but of course, who could forget our favorite low poly model, Cheeple. This isn't the only case Cheeple appears in Half-Life 2, no, there is in fact another. Now the other place you could find Cheeple is in Eli's lab. We're just gonna skip through this and tell Mossman to suck on a crowbar, and we're going to go to Cheeple. Now you might not have even known that's Cheeple, because you go this way, it's like, oh okay, you know, you see some people walking, and then you sit here, you go into the elevator with Mossman, and then the rest is history. But if you ever really just took a look, you'll notice his model is quite a bit lower poly than average, and then of course only once you break the map, you realize the truth. So why does Cheeple's model look so low poly? What's the point of this? Where are his eyes, man? Well, the thing that always creeped me out about Cheeple is that he is unique. There's not another model in the game that uses this face texture, so who even is this? Well, the face that was lent for this model is by a guy named Warren Slough. It's also Sloth, Slu, there's like a million different ways to say that, but Warren unfortunately passed away in 2006, so it makes me sad to think that he is no longer with us, but the cool thing is is that Cheeple, Cheeple will always be here, and we'll remember him for decades to come, so rest easy my guy. However, Cheeple's also been surrounded by a lot of fear. For instance, when I actually came back here once, I didn't even know about Cheeple, and it was while I was doing a video I think it was the Gordon Freeman video, if I'm not mistaken. I came back here, and I heard walking. I turned around, and there he was, waiting for me. This is a Minimon Showcase, guys. Welcome back. So, this is not your average Cheeple. In fact, if you look in the top left corner, you'll see it is Cheeple will find you. Sev obviously had to come through and make our nightmares real, and that's what we're going to be dealing with in today's video. Now, I will just go over real quick. The reason why Cheeple is low poly is I assume because he is used as a long distance render of the models of the citizens. So if you look at a citizen from far away, this is pretty much what you'll see, I assume. Now, why this though? Why does it need its own model? And why doesn't this model appear in any other character? That's what gives it the creepy vibe. Now, what happens when you let this Cheeple, well, run? He does the standard citizen walk, which is pretty authentic. However, when he catches you... That is not the cheap I remember. Or maybe it is, it's just it's the cheap I didn't really want. When he gets close to you, you'll see that you start to get this laggy effect because he's about to end your goddamn life. I'm already getting some goosebumps, and Sev said in the description that this works pretty well in the maze, so... I think I'm ready to put it in the maze. It's weird, I talk like I still have a face cam. <laughs> you guys can't even see my face. Or can you? Let's see how well Cheeple works in the maze. Well, I, I, I got stuck. The thing I think is interesting is I'm not the only one that thinks this way. I thought I came across Cheeple and I was just being... How did he catch up to us that fast? Whew, okay. That music is kind of creeping me out a little bit. I just got goosebumps, so that means we're ready to go. All right, it's gonna be hard to stay focused while I'm doing this, but I'll do my, oh sure. <laughs> How is he so fast? That's, he, he doesn't even catch up to us that quickly at first. How does he, okay. I'm gonna sit here and watch him. I'm not turning my back to him anymore. Interesting. He turns those corners instantly. All right. This is gonna be a hard video, guys. This is probably just because of my history with him. Because like I told you guys earlier in the video, when I came across Cheeple randomly, something about it just made my blood run cold. 
And now I know why, because I'm not the only one that thinks Cheeple's creepy. Unfortunately, you cannot possess Cheeple, but you can certainly drive him if that's your... Wait, what? Alright guys, let's take it to the next level. Let's see what it takes to take down Cheeple. Oh, God. Sev, what have you done? Sexiness, maybe? Aha! Alright guys, just because I'm curious, I want to see how Cheeple does against the Incredible Hulk. Let's see, this should be interesting. Oh, they don't want to fight each other. Alright guys, I put Cheeple all the way on the other side of the maze. Let's see how long it takes him to catch up to us. Man, this is... <laughs> I hate this. I actually didn't want to do this. I was hoping that he would fight other NPCs so that I could end the video on that. But because I still need a bit of time to make a five minute video, we need to do this. I don't know if I should stay quiet. Oh, God damn it, man. I hate this. I'm not going to edit any of this out, so it's... Ooh. Oh, nope, I can't do it. <laughs> I'm not usually chicken shit, but this one really... It was really getting to me. I could feel myself getting a little lightheaded. As always, guys, leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video, and until next time, thanks for watching, and farewell.